Good morning, I hope you are well. Oh my goodness, you're in for a treat this show. We have got cardio and we have got the most beautiful stamps. It's the Woodland Collection, so I'm feeling right at home, I really am. We've got the wonderful Wendy with us as well to take us through all the different designs, how you can use these stamps to build and create images, which will take you through the whole year, from spring, through summer, through winter, through Christmas, through autumn, yes, that was in there, and all the way, <laughs> all the way back into spring again. I don't know why I forgot the autumn. I was just mesmerised by these beautiful images. Hi, Wendy, Hi. how are you? I'm good, thank you. You? Yeah, I'm really, really well. I don't know what I'm more surprised at, these beautiful images, or the fact you've just told me you're a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. The reason why I bring that up, we've got a happy birthday, haven't we? Have we? Is it a birthday? We're just no, no. Hello. I just wanted to say hello. Oh, I, have, okay. I have just had my birthday though. Oh, well, there you go. Husband, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> we have, you must be, so yeah. happy birthday Thank to you. you. There's <laughs> method in my madness. <laughs> but we are going to say hello to Emily. Emily, morning, Emily. Morning, Emily. <laughs> She'll be made up now. She'll be thinking she's a queen with two <laughs> she birthdays. Will. She will. Uh, right, can we talk about your good self for a moment or two and just introduce the stamp collection? Yep, we try and make sure all our stamps are as versatile as possible, hence the reason why all of these stamps we can use all the way through the year. So yes. I'm one of these I don't like to have to put a stamp away after Christmas. If I like it, I like to be able to use it all year round. Yes. So that's where our sort of design came from, our design ideas came from. So that's what we try and do, just be as versatile as we possibly can and it gives you the most sort of use out of the stamps that you've got. Oh, you've certainly got versatility here. This is your complete collection. You're saving £5, it's available on two payments so you can spread the cost over two months if you want to buy it in one go then it's 42 pounds and 94 pence if you're a freedom member there's no PMP to pay on that but I need to tell you that already a quarter of the stock has gone already we're really busy there's some absolutely beautiful images in here but I think it's when you bring them together Wendy that you start to build and create those lovely woodland scenes yeah we were just saying a second ago actually if you just see them as they are yeah the beautiful lovely little animals and things but it's when you start to build those scenes and the fact that if you buy all this collection now, the last collection that you bought, you can start to mingle in with these and yes. the possibilities are just endless with them. So you do so much with them. Now you've got something for everyone in the Woodland Collection. So you've got your animals, you've got your birds, you've yeah. got your insects that we're yeah. seeing here. And you've also got the lovely little accents as well, like that fence. I love that fence with the barbed wire. Really? You've got yeah. the flowers as well to add, to embellish those areas around that tree trunk if you want to. You toadstools are in there as well and a whole collection I'm not going to ask you what each one of those toadstools Don't. are <laughs> please but I, you've captured it so well even the one there that it's I would if I was going to put a colour on that it'd be like red and white yeah. but it looks knobbly at the top so yeah. I can describe it do you know what I mean everyone at home <laughs> it's not just a mushroom or a toadstool you've actually captured the very essence of it yeah and again it looks so much different when it's got the colour on it like you were yes. saying and the thing is you don't need to be as frightened of making mistakes with these go straight to your cards you know yeah. don't worry about it because nine times out of ten you take one of those little accents if you've put a finger mark on then you're straight over and you wouldn't know it yeah, was there yeah yeah absolutely so. uh, we've just seen the Easter eggs as well um, again Easter's coming up, but it doesn't have to be Easter that the you use those cards because it's a woodland collection. It could be a nice little egg just saying that, you know, there's a start of a new life or well, a Well, I've put egg. some in there's a, there's a little bird's nest. So I've put a couple in the little oh. bird's nest as well. So also you could use them for Easter. But again, you know, you can do a lot of hearts in there as well. So if you're doing a little wedding card, because we yes. always do animals that are facing each other, yes. if you put the little hearts in there, you could use that as an engagement card or a wedding card. It's just sort of thinking outside the box, really. I do love them. that. I like the way you've used those um, stamps as well, like uh, in a in a silhouette style because I think these will work with colour yeah. but also silhouette style yeah. as well. Silhouette, anybody who knows me knows I always go straight to my silhouettes for Christmas yes. and generally through the summer I do more pastels but they do work beautifully for silhouette as well. I've got to tell you a third of the stock has gone now, wow. a third of the stock has gone of the complete collection. Now the individuals, can I let everyone at home know about the individuals? Well I was going to say you could buy them individually but they've sold out. Oh, that's good. So they've sold out individually uh, and we're very busy on the complete collection. So the only way you can get them now, and why wouldn't you, is in that complete collection. Right, uh, we're going to move on and we're going to go and have a look at the sentiments because these are beautiful. Um, I want to show you some samples with the sentiments as well because like we were saying earlier on, you came into the earlier show, you can say your happy birthdays at the start of a show yeah. like I did. Yeah. Or you can say your happy <laughs> birthdays inside the yeah. car, can't you? 
I think it's nice to be able to use a greeting all the way through the year. So if you, because yes. a lot of the time we don't just want to wait for birthdays. So we mm. might have somebody who's done something really nice for us, yeah. and we just want to send a card. So it's lovely to have just verses that you can use all year round. Well, we're busy for the sentiments. Oh my goodness, 45% has gone already. Uh, should we read a couple of them out? Um, actually, yes. What our lovely producer will do for me and director is take <laughs> us down here so I can read them. In all things of nature, there is something of marvellous. Ah, oh, and that's by Aristotle. Uh, wherever you are, there is sunshine. That's nice. Yeah, that's pretty. Like that. Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. That's so true. I think that's very pretty. Uh, if the path be beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. I think that's my favourite. I like that. Yeah, I, think it's I like my favorite. that. Uh, my wish is to stay away. Always, I was going to say stay away. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be someone else's wish for me. <laughs> <laughs> my wish is to stay always like this, living quietly in a corner of nature. Uh, beautiful Claude Monet there. Flowers are nature's smile. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, adopt the peace of nature. Her secret is patience. And that's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And if you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. Vincent van Gogh. 70% of the stock has yeah, now gone by the time I've read all through those. 9.99, it's a great price everyone. 710001 is your item number. Now, let's just take a look at the frames if we can. When I say frames, these are masks yeah. or stencils. So you can create frames and there's so many things you can do. What we've basically done is when we've cut the stencils, we've not thrown any of the components away. Ah. So it means you can sort of stamp over things. Yes. You can use them as a, a general mask so you can create the frames. And you can emboss them as well so I've embossed them with an embossing tool as that well so it I'm just gives just it a little that. bit it looks like you've layered it with cards only you haven't used any cards wow it's a game changer that mm -hmm. is um, if you see there I when we were talking about this earlier on we were saying you could save card that's why you saw there I just went like that because I thought you've put some card on here mm. haven't you Wendy like no, <laughs> there's no card on there at all that's amazing but you do get that embossed detail fantastic 13, even our director thought that that was card on there. That really is amazing and it is a game changer because you can have any colour now mm -hmm. as your surround. You're not wasting any paper. Wow, £13.46 if you want to get this set of four stencils. 888-407 is your item number. Wow, that is incredible. Love that. Okay, your complete collection. Let's take a quick look at that. Half the stock has now wow. gone. We better get demonstrating we with these for you. Half the stock has now gone. They've all sold out individually. The only way to get these fabulous stamps, and why wouldn't you want them all? You really do wood. Uh, you really will enjoy this woodland uh, image. Twenty. £21.47 is your first payment. There is another payment of £21.47, but it gives you a chance to spread the cost over two months, uh, which is a great way to buy. It's interest-free payment as well. 860-266 is your item number. And if you open your Flexi Buy, if you did want to add anything else, like the masks, for example, or the sentiments, you can split the cost of those into two if you're going for the complete collection. Just helps you out, really. Spread the cost if that's something you choose to do. Right, back with Wendy. Let's have some demonstrations. Okay, so I'm going to get one of the more complicated ones out of the way first, so okay. I don't have to worry. So we've let, we've put the whole of the stencil on top of the card exactly where we want okay. it. Then what I've done, and I've just used a, re a removable adhesive for that, yep. and then we've taken the middle panel out because that is the, the, the centre that we're going to be right. actually uh, stamping onto. So I've just rubbed the back with a little bit of wax paper it just adds a little bit of lubrication for when I'm going to do the embossing okay if you do the embossing first what that means is it's going to sort of lock the card into the stencil so the way I stamp when I'm actually rubbing um, the ink on so the front of the card a, a no, 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 I just use a general uh, ball tool for this Look at that. so because it's quite simple it's quite a simple shape you don't really have to worry about it so we're just sort that of following that through. so easily so the wax paper does help. Uh, apparently you can use a tumble dryer sheet as well. Okay. But what it's done now is push that design right up into the stencil. So now I don't need to worry about it, anything going underneath or seeping underneath it. So the first thing we're going to do for this one, this is the one we're going to do. And we're just going to pop a little bit of uh, paper just on there. And then I'm just going to use a dry baby wipe just to run the ink over the top. Okay. So I'm first going to go with the green. So we're creating our hill here. Okay, so little circular motions, and we're just going to rub off the edge. Could you use a blending tool? Of course, you, had you can. One? Yep, you can use whatever you've got. This is just my preferred method. 
I do need to tell you we've got queues on the phones, everyone. Um, two minutes long. We will get through your calls. The best way to order, if you can, if you have access to the internet, through the app, through a computer, or through your smart, uh, or through a tablet, or through a smart TV, actually, if you've got the internet. Okay, so again, don't be frightened of the white space. I used to always think when I first started that you had to fill the whole of the car, but I actually like the white space. It gives it a little bit of highlight mm. and a little bit more depth. So I'm just going to put a little bit more colour on there. And then what we're going to do is take this top piece of paper away. Now, because we've cut um, from one piece of paper to get our hill shape like this, yeah. what it means is I can mask out the bottom half of this now and then we can carry on with the scene that we're building. So I'm just going to pop that there like that and now we can work above okay so if you're doing this as well just bear in mind what you're going to be stamping across here because you don't want to make it too dark if the okay. colors that you're using are going to be quite pale <coughs> so I'm just going to start to rub on the yellow just over the top here and again don't make it too dark so just blend off the edge and just bear in mind what it is you're going to be stamping through the middle so the yellow is always quite bright when you first start yeah but we're going to add a little bit of red just to calm that down a little bit and i'm aware these demonstrations do take a little bit longer because obviously we've got this little mask oh, in but place as well but Wendy, it's, they're it's so interesting worth it. yeah. when you think how much money it'll save you with not masking uh, matting and layering everything that you do it's I think such a massive difference it really is and it will give you the opportunity to mask and layer as well because like you say, sometimes you don't want to do that because you don't want to waste your cardstock. And but I'm looking so around at a couple, of um, a couple of your samples, and some of them you've not even coloured, you've just embossed around, yeah. and doesn't it make a difference? Because white is beautiful. White yeah. is just, it kind of looks very, very classy, I think, just the white embossed edges. Okay. We'll just show you that one we were looking at, actually, just to give reference to it. Just embossed there, no colour. How effective is that? Now, for me, that looks like a very expensive cardstock that you've bought that's been pre-scored yeah. um, around. Fabulous. So, we're going to stamp our tree trunk because that's sort of the main um, image in the design. Yeah. So, for this, I'm going to use two colours. So, so the actual uh, finished design doesn't look flat, we're going to add the paler one first, and that's so we don't contaminate our inks. Okay. So, all over with the pale ink. I do like, like this. this image, you know. I love this. There's so many uses oh for it. Oh, my goodness. The, the images that you've captured just everything you know it's not just a tree trunk there's so much life in that and because it's got the hollow in there as well you can actually put little animals and things yes. underneath so can you see i'm just sort of running around now with oh, the darker yes. color and it should make that middle just pop out a little bit and we should get now i do need to tell you as we're looking at that tree trunk there that your sentiments which we can see on the car just there are limited stock your sentiments are limited stock uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight sentiments eight sentiments there for you for 9.99 but limited stock they truly are beautiful beautiful words beautiful font and a great price as well seven one zero 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 one okay thanks for that so there's our little tree trunk in place now so what we want to do is add some little bits and pieces into the background so we're going to use some of the wildflower wood so all of these are going to work together yeah so we're just going to do some of the more solid ones first now i've got a question for you yeah uh, i hope you don't mind i don't so we've put the tree trunk down yeah now you're adding the flowers yeah would you have is there a rule of thumb? Would you add the flowers first and put the tree trunk on top? No, I'd always do my main images first, always, right. yeah. Because if you don't get everything in, it's not the end of the world. You can just yes. keep layering over the top. So I always get my main things in that I want first and right. then we work around them. Great. So all the little tiny flowers and things are fantastic for just sort of working into the background like this. So we've got some ivy. That's yeah. Oh, I love so we're gonna, that. Well, that is um, black currant. So in the winter, ah, ivy. And perfect. then in the, in the summer, you can use it for your little blackberry. Yeah. So this one, what I'm going to do is add a couple of colours. Yeah. So we're going to use a little bit of the pink, and then I'm going to go on with a little bit of the green as well, and we're going to add these into the background as well. Do you know what's nice about this is that each and every scene is going to be different. It is. Like you say, for the different seasons. See, I get bored very, very quickly, yeah. so I like to be able to change it up a little bit. I don't want it all to be the same. So the fact that everyone's going to be different, and you might just decide to put something else in. Yeah. Um, and you can change a card so easily just by adding a couple of little things into your designs. How about using these with fabric ink on Beautiful fabrics. with fabrics. Oh my word. Absolutely beautiful. I used to, when, when I first started on the TV, I had a little apron that I'd stamped up like that as well. So you can create some beautiful things, bags and things oh, like that. I'm thinking um, 
table runners yeah um, table sets we did have a lady once for her wedding and she actually um, stamped up all her tablecloths and a, a, oh, wow. a cards you know the place cards absolutely everything she did and she was just fantastic that really would be amazing because everything just matches yes um, the sentiments I do need to tell you we've technically sold out of the sentiments they're all in baskets at the moment so please do check out your basket to make sure you get those sentiments okay. and thank you for buying and well done thank you very much well done, Wendy so we're gonna add a little bird in now so you can see this actual um, tree trunk can be used as a sort of to house all sorts of different things like we said underneath the little um, yeah. tree trunk we can put little animals in as well so let's take that off now look at that so there's our little and what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of grass there as well so I'm just gonna whip that around add a little bit of green and we're going to stamp a little bit of the grass just over the top how about a storybook the beauty that you could make for the it? little ones I mean, that'd be lovely yeah there's not much really that you can't do with yeah. these and like i said you just don't get bored and kids love them even my little granddaughter she plays with them oh and she's actually quite good okay so just over the top there i'm just going to add a couple of little bits of grass just to give the front a little bit more interest and then we're going to stamp one of my favorites which is the little hedgehogs Aww. so let's get those and again i'm going to use two colors on these so we're going to give them a slightly um, paler belly yeah so palest one first and we're going to go all over the whole hedgehog again when you see the hedgehog stamped out you'll oh, see the cute. detail yes it Very does cute. have that furry belly and then you've got those Does. spikes at the top it yeah captured it it's so well it's very sort of uh, detailed it's really really lovely so let's pop this one about here just in the front okay there he is oh, no. and then let's do the smaller one as well so again all over with the pail and then we're just going to go around the edges with the dark can we use these stamps to make and create and sell? Yes, you can. I'm thinking charity cards. Oh, definitely. And the thing is, because you don't need to do a lot of layering, yeah. but they're going to look like they're layered, you're going to get the, uh, your money's worth out of those, so you'll be able to make and sell them if you want to as well. So we've done all of this now. Yep. So what I'm going to do is just pop off this frame here. Uh, so we're going to leave that in place and we're just going to take that one off look at what it's creating so if i want to emboss that i can emboss that now so hopefully if i just take my wax paper again excuse me like that and we'll just pick up on this little edge here and again if you want to stamp through this as well you can and you can also add the middle bit in so if you don't want to catch that middle seam we can take this and we can add that back in so if you did want to stamp over it you can just pop that back over the top like that. So I'm just going to use my little baby wipe again, and then we're just going to add a little bit of colour. So just around the edges here. And either way, you're adding the ink without using a blender or anything. It is. It's, it's actually really, really easy to do this way. Yeah. And you know, we forgot to emboss it, so I'll do that in a second. We'll okay. just put the colour on first this time, and then I'll add a little bit of embossing around the edges as well and this one is going to be pretty much done so just going to calm that yellow down a little bit with yeah. the red so again it doesn't need to be a lot but if you wanted now to stamp through there so if yeah. you want to take one of the fine stamps or maybe a flower or something you could have the border stamped as well That's by using good, that them. is an excellent idea because you've got those beautiful little birds and embellishments and flowers uh, right i've got some news everyone if i may we've made a phone call and we've managed to get some more sentiments they're going to be dispatched on the 16th of march not too long to wait 9.99 We've already sold out once, um, so here they are back. 710001, dispatching on the 16th of March. Eight stamps, fabulous sentiments, beautiful font, just 9.99. Pop that into your basket. Okay, so we're just gonna pick up that edge there as well. So I have to excuse my inky fingers. And then just on the edge of that one. Just make sure that you wax this enough so you can actually see where you're going. Yeah. So make sure you've got your, your edges all picked up. It's working very easily though, isn't it? It is. That wax paper just helps it glide that little bit. But I just didn't sort of rub that for long enough. There we go. And then once you've done that, all of these, so the rest of your actual, your actual mask can then just peel off. So we take the outer one off. And then we're going to take the inner one back off where Have we did all our stamping. Have you stuck them down with anything? Yeah, it's just a, a removable adhesive. Ah, oh, okay. 
and then that middle one comes off there oh, look at and there that. we've got our beautiful little frame that is that is fabulous and embossed as well and it might not be as easy to pick up on the camera but it is absolutely beautiful when it's done oh that is lovely there we go we'll just lift it there okay so you there we go yeah let me i'll grab this so there's for the you. original we've not put as much in but you can see we've got the little frame brilliant. running around there as and well. And then if I show you the frame, if I move the card, if I just turn that there, then you can see how it's embossed. That really is amazing. It adds a dimension as well. Absolutely love that. Love it. Your complete collection details are on the screen at the moment, 42.94. However, divide the cost into two over two months. It's a great way to buy and it's interest free as well. £21.47, two payments of, and you can buy that on FlexiBuy, uh, 860266. Now, if you want the stamp rods now, I do like these. Uh, and you'll see... Um, Wendy using these in a moment's time. You've got five star reviews. Now they aren't limited stock. We've got plenty of them to go round for now anyway. Um, I just like the look of them. I'd, I'd have them on my mantelpiece, just as they are. But go and have a look at the five star reviews. Now let's talk about that big collection. Let's talk about the large collection. 80% of the stock has gone. It is absolutely delightful. We're only 20 minutes into the show. When we came through this morning and saw the samples, we were like, wow, wow, these are so beautiful. We knew it was going to be a busy show. I just didn't realize it was going to be this busy. Here's some samples to show you. You've got that lovely badger there just wandering out into the evening. Maybe the uh, sun is setting. Maybe that's a full moon in the background. Uh, you've got the lovely deer there and those toadstools as well. I think these stamps really do capture the woodland so well. The beauty is you can use them in silhouette and you can use them um, in full colour as well. You can use them throughout all of the seasons because you've got the embellishments like the fence, like the tree trunk, you've got the birds, you've got the deer as well, you've got all of that beautiful flowers and um, um, toadstools as well and you've also got the insects as well that you can see there and sometimes with those insects you can put them places where you don't really see them and then they pop out at you um, um, beautiful beautiful designs and if you're going for the frames as well to be able to encapsulate those images in those beautiful frames um, it's just a wonderful way of building and creating cards different each and every time you use them the sentiments are back on extended delivery if you wanted to go for those you can pop them into your basket with your flexi buy and divide the cost over too so busy for this complete collection uh, and there you go those are those easter eggs as well this is just a few of the cards that you could make <coughs> we're now limited stock limited stock on that complete collection my word we've been busy 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 for those this morning and um, thank you for joining us for this show um, and I'm sure you're going to absolutely love using them when you get them home you really will now we've also been busy for the frames as you've got here 65 percent of the stock has gone so you can build those layers up let me just bring that card in to show you and you've got the opportunity to emboss as well which raises and gives dimension to your cards um, it really is incredible when you see this you think no surely there's a bit of card there there's not there's not we've just embossed it and maybe if i open that up behind you can see how that's embossed into the card to give you that fantastic effect. Now you're going to save your card stock. Now you're going to save yourself some money. And now you'll be able to put any colour of frame and style you want. Um, I've got one more. Can I just show you what this other sample as well? Uh, because you've got that gorgeous love heart as well that you can build and create and again if I open that up you can see yes yeah, show two sorry about that uh, <laughs> you can see that embossed just there triple eight four zero seven that's eight 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 four zero seven available on flexi buy 13 pounds and 40 and sorry available on freedom beg your pardon getting excited uh, available as a freedom member for 13 pounds and 46 pence and you get four of those right sentiments oh my word 
These are back on extended delivery. Oh, and already a third of the stock has gone. Uh, wherever you are, there is sunshine. That's just one of the sentiments that you're going to get right here. Um, in all things of nature, there is something of the marvellous. And heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. Some beautiful sentiments there and some quotes as well for you to use. And you've also got the person who made that quote as well, uh, which is brilliant. Flowers are nature's smile. 710001 is your item number. It's back on extended delivery, dispatching on the 16th of March. But already a third of the stock has gone of the extended delivery. Uh, just a quick sample just to show you there with your sentiment on. Look at that owl, isn't that beautiful? You can make this if you get them home. Oh, half the stock now has gone of the sentiments. Half the stock of the sentiments has now gone. Just to let you know that because we are having a very, very busy show. Now, if you are going for your complete collection, it's available on FlexiBuy, where you can open up a Flexi basket. And here's our lovely Leone to tell you some more. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. FlexiOrder, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. My word, we've had a busy morning. Uh, we've got a technical sellout on your large collection, which means they are all in baskets at the moment. You do need to check out now to make sure you get your collection. £42.94, wow. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us for the show today. It's an absolute marvellous collection, it really is. And uh, they look adorable when you start to place them together. But uh, yes, a technical sellout, a technical sellout on those. Uh, and just to tease you, there's a picture of them. <laughs> uh, but do please check out your baskets and make sure that they're yours. Remember, they're not yours until you check out. Right, we're back with Wendy now and with some more demonstrations. Sorry about that, we just that, need to let everybody okay. know. That's okay. Wow. I thought we'd change it up a bit and have a little Christmas design in this okay. one. So just a nice little quick one. And what we're going to do is use the um, circle. A stencil yes. to create a very very simple frame okay. and a design inside so already what I've done while, you, while we were talking before I've put the stencil on the front of the card and we've already embossed the inner circle right okay so I've done that first we've already seen that done so we don't need to worry about that piece of paper over the top this time because we're only colouring the top of the card we're going to pop that about here now I've got some great news Wendy I've got some great news phone calls have been made and we've got that full collection oh, back good. on extended delivery. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's going to be this for the rest yeah. of the show. <laughs> it's going to be dispatched on the 16th of March. Everyone, you've got a chance to buy it again. £42.94, pence, saving £5, available on FlexiBuy. Oh, my word, it's a beautiful collection. And uh, again, 21.47 today and another payment of that in a month's time. If you're a Freedom member, no PMP to pay on the first payment. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we managed to get those back. That's great. So thank you. And the other thing, uh, what I was thinking as well while I was just doing this is uh, men's cards as well. Because they're yes. quite um, natural, it's nature, they'd be great for me to stick a pair of wellies in there as uh, well. Yeah, that yeah, we had course. on last time on the Christmas show, I think, or before, just oh, before yeah. that, but we've had them on. And the they washing were lines. Yeah, there'd be so many different ways you can mix these in with <gasps> the ones you've already got. Can you imagine the washing line with the baby's clothes? And then having all the um, woodland creatures underneath. Yeah. Oh, oh that yeah. would be lovely. It would be gorgeous. See, it's only afterwards when you start to get these home and you start mixing them all in together, you realise how many different ways you've got of using them, I yeah. think, as well. Because even I've probably only just scraped the surface with the things that we've done on these. So what we're going to do is put this little broken vent in. This okay. is the one that you like. So again, we're just going to do it in silhouette. Now, we've had an email from Helen. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, Helen. Helen would like to know what kind of wax paper you're using. I, do you know, I'm not 
honestly sure. I can't just say a, it's wax just dry a regular, or something. It's just a wax paper, just a yeah. Wax paper. But like I said, if you can't find that, use a tumble dryer sheet. Because ah, uh, okay. apparently that does the same thing. It's just to give it a little, your, your ball to a little bit of a glide. Yeah. You don't actually need it, but if you try doing it without it, you'll find it, scra it scrapes. It's really, really horrible. So I would just make sure you've got something yeah. that you can lubricate with. Okay, so I'm going to take this probably just off the edge of the stencil here to give us room for the badger. So you might you might find that you might have to push a little bit harder if you're yeah. going off the edge of the stencil. If it doesn't go to the edge, don't worry because we're going to be stamping over it and covering over it, so it's not going to matter in the slightest. Who would have thought that an old, decrepit, barbed wire I know. fence would just be like absolutely a, spectacular and, and it could is. Have, we could have done it perfect but actually I love the fact, I the love fact it. that it's broken I like that I don't like things to be too perfect yeah, I love it I so really let's do. get our little badger in now these are the ones I just adore these because the detail in them is absolutely Aww. beautiful so we could on that one what we've done we've taken this hill away so I'll take the hill away so the badger actually looks like he's in front of that yeah. fence and we'll just go all over the badger with the black so be careful because if you if you really sort of want to be precise, I don't mind if a little bit of colour shows through the badger. So yeah. where the white is, you can obviously see a little bit of colour behind, but to me it just looks like a little reflection, oh. so I'm okay with that. And on the barbed wire as well, you can put the birds. The as nest. we're seeing in this yeah. uh, sample It, it looks there. so much different, doesn't it, done in, yeah. the, in the other colours. It's Completely amazing, the different. difference. Um, I do need to tell you the sentiments. You're seeing the sentiment right there. Um, oh my, are we limited stock again? Right, we've sold out once. We brought it back on extended delivery. We made those calls for you, but it's now limited stock again. 9.99. Here's your chance, everyone, to pop it into your basket if you've not already got it. 710-001 is your item number. Flowers are nature's smile. That's just one of the sentiments right there okay so we've just popped the little bird in as well just on top of the fence and again yeah. we could put the nest in there if we wanted oh. to as well but what we're not what color have you used there because that's a really nice that like is it's two colors together so i always use two because yeah. i just find it gives you a little bit more sort of dimension so it's that great is effect. that is atlantic and it's a peony over the top as well okay so i'll tend to use a very similar um, colour scheme now with this. I'll just use a little bit of the blue a lot of the time you can just pick up here so yeah. you don't always need to add more ink but just because I want to put a little bit of grass there, I'm going to add a little bit of shade and then we're just going to stamp oh. the grass in silhouette over the top. Hmm. Now we've had another email from Angela. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. Angela says she's so pleased to see Cardio on her chander again. She absolutely adores what you do, Wendy. Oh, thank and you. And the designs that you produce. Thank you very, very much. Clever. They thank are you. actually, they are clever. That's a word I've not used actually this morning. They are very clever. I, I just love them. But again, it just comes from me getting bored and I like to be able to sort of change things up and swap things out. So that's why I like them so much. Yes, the badger's broken through the fence and he's on an he's adventure. He's escaping. Yeah. But the little baby badger as well. I don't oh. know whether we've seen that was a little baby badger and they go nose to nose. Oh, there's a baby so you can, one. Yeah, there's a little baby one in there as well. So. Oh, there is a baby one. It's on, oh, I've got, actually, I've got it, got yeah, I've got there. it here in my hand. Here's a badger so and a baby badger. Cute. They're the baby badger. It's oh. really cute. Now, what do you call a baby badger? Is it I, a cub? I think it is a cub. I'm yeah. not 100% to be honest, but I think it is a cub. Oh, it is, yeah. Little baby badger. Don't you just love badgers? They're so beautiful. And like you say, the detail in it is just gorgeous. You can see all the fur. It it's really, really, really pretty. Oh, a collective name for badgers. I don't know how to pronounce that. What is it? C-E-E-P. Oh, I've never heard of Sorry, that. Sorry, C-E-T-E. Set. Set, set. What is a set? Yeah. Yeah, C-E-T-E. I didn't know it was spelt like that, though, to be fair, but... Oh, of course it is. A set of badgers. Yeah. I thought set Makes was spelt S-E-T. <laughs> I did too. I've always spelt it S-E-T. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> All the way through school, I spelt it S-E-T. Yeah, me too. I thought, no, I'll keep that quiet. <laughs> Oh, but apparently more people call them clams of badgers. Oh, so I've not heard that either. Hopefully that's C L A N. <laughs> well, yeah. Probably not, though, eh? <laughs> right, so we've added some of the little grass and oh, we've just great. sort of stamped over the top there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is take away this. In fact, I'm just going to edge all the way around. Make sure. So this black that we've got on here, I'm just going to pick it up and we're just going to. Oh, is that around, around the stencil. Ah. It'll just, it just sort of really emphasises the circle shape, you know, when we take it off. 
Now, you're using the, the masks there. Mm -hmm. Do you clean them? Yeah, I mean, this will need cleaning. So I've okay. got a sort of a new one to use afterwards, so I don't have to rush about what cleaning things. What do we clean things. them with? Um, I would just use a baby wipe. You could put yeah. them under the tap with a bit yeah. of... I mean, you might not. If you use permanent inks on there, yeah. which you don't want to be using stays on on clear, clean, okay. uh, clear stamps anyway. So it, it won't always come off, but again, it's not the end of the world. Well, we are limited stock on those masks. Limited stock, 14 95 There they are. You can emboss with those. Uh, you can use them with your ink as a stencil 1346 as freedom members great price 888407 limited stock on the masks they are absolutely fantastic so you can see this where we embossed it before yeah. we started so now because if I wanted to stamp this now I can just pop this middle section straight back in and then that means we can color and emboss the outer ring as well so we're going to yeah. give it an embossed ring on the outside this time I'm going to try and sort of do this properly instead of rushing so we'll just get this outer ring on here so if you rub with the wax paper not only does it help your tool glide but can you see that i can actually see the shape yes. through there so then all we have to do is just follow that line so just all the way around the outside if you want it really really crisp go for a sort of your bigger embossing tool first and then go slightly smaller each yeah. time and it's just crisping up that line that you've got i think it's brilliant Okay, so now that's rose up again. So we, if we want to add some colour on, and this time we've just used the, the black. So I'm not going to use anything but a little tiny bit of the black. So just off the edge of the stencil. And again, we're protecting that centre because we've put that centre piece back over the top. So I don't need to worry about getting any ink on top of that. The thing to remember is because the, we've used every bit of the stencil and you've got the words running through the middle yeah. of this circle, make sure you cover that up. Right. Because while I was practicing with these, I used to get a bit carried away and I would be sort of going through the words, which yeah. you don't want to do in this case because you want to keep it nice and clean behind. So just a little bit all the way around. Now we've technically sold out of the mask, which means they're all in allocation and all in your baskets. Um, they're not yours until you check out your baskets, of course. And after 10 minutes, they may pop out as well. So it's a good idea just to get them. Pop out, uh, pop out your baskets. <laughs> Check out your baskets. Uh, and then you can get those masks. We've got a technical sellout. Uh, they're more than masks, so look how they emboss for you. Uh, look how they build and create for you. Uh, and look at this little badger here. It's so cute. So we've just got a little bit of, uh, this is just a white PVA. So this is just dry dimensional. It just gives it that really, really snowy look, just like that. Just so I'm just putting it over the fence. We're going to use a little bit, just sort of in front of the, the grass here, like that. Aww. And again, doesn't have to be perfect, that. Again, I like it to have a bit of texture. And then if we pop that straight into our glitter, we can see how many different things we could have added into yeah. this design. And there we go. Oh, look. Do you know, I'm thinking cards um, to make and create for charities. I'm also now thinking about a calendar because you could have this scene as your winter calendar. Definitely. You could have a similar scene, if not the same, for your spring. So it could go all the way through so 12 months, couldn't yeah, with the same stamp. You certainly could. You definitely could. Oh, look. Maybe he's just about to go on a journey and you're going to create that storybook <laughs> and he's one of your characters. Isn't that lovely? And just using black ink. Amazing, amazing. £21.47 is your first payment. Another payment after that in a month's time. Uh, 860266 or 4294 if you want to pay for it in one go. Saving £5, but my goodness, what a beautiful set. Now, if you want to go for the rods, which make it easy for you to place the stamps, uh, they are available at 12 99 Always proved popular, and we've got five star reviews on the uh, website. Uh, you've got your 12 mil, you've got your 20 mil, your 25 mil, and your 30 mil. Shorty. Oh no, your 30 mil is a shorty. <laughs> uh, right, this is your complete collection. We have got a lovely, beautiful gallery behind me of all samples. Um, I don't know whether you, if you if we can can we have a look because. It shows you the stamps and all the different scenes that you could possibly create. Uh, so the first one you can see here, that's in the woodland with your insects, which are on there. Maybe a bit of a Halloween theme. Uh, then you've got the deers. Oh, and look, look at the way that the, the snow on the front, just using a bit of glitter. How lovely is that? Use the white space on your card. That's what it's there for. You've got that badger again, uh, taking a stroll out in the midnight hour. 
which is absolutely beautiful. And again, you've got your flowers in there that you can start to build and create your scenes. You can go for the uh, beautiful masks that we've got on the show and you can put them into the different shapes, but you don't need the mask to build and create. You could just maybe cut a piece of card and then start to build your landscapes. Uh, oh, now, yes, you could add fairies to these scenes as well, to your woodland themes. But you've also got your flowers in there as well and your Easter eggs. Not just for Easter, of course. You can have them placed in your woodland scenes just as a mythical, magical way. And you can see here we've got some more uh, cards that you're looking at there with those beautiful flowers, with those sentiments running through the middle of them. We've sold out of the sentiments. Uh, we bought them back on extended. Did we sell out again? Yeah, they did. Um, again, just looking at this stamp set and seeing so many different cards that you can make and create. And every time I look at the samples, I see another one that I think, oh, that's my favourite. And I've seen another one that says, that, yeah, you've got the love there in the love heart. And then you've got the love heart again. And then you've got the word love next to it. Uh, with the flowers, but just panning over those cards there. That's the same stamp set, everyone. That's the same stamp set. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Just using your different colours and putting them together. Uh, that one, I mean, that is simply beautiful, isn't it? That is the same stamp set. The same stamp set as the Woodland Animals. It's amazing. Uh, so, extremely busy, extremely busy. Dispatching on the 16th of March, 860 uh, Double six is your item number. How many? 102 stamps in total. Stamps, Wendy, that's it? a lot of stamps, but my word, you can do so many different things. You can, you definitely can. So, we've moved on. Yes. I've done the same thing that we did with the circle, but we've used the little heart okay. selection here. So we've already put the mask on the front of the card. I've removed the centre panel, and now we're just going to start work on the inside. We've okay. also embossed this heart as well, so you're going to get that nice raised heart on the front. So the very first, this is the one we're doing. So we've actually put um, the grass on the front. So I'm just in the process of getting that nice and green at the bottom there. And like I said, we've already embossed it. And you can see it's bringing the actual card yeah. stock level with the stencil. So just a little bit of colour. Now I do need to tell everyone, the queues are six minutes long, Wendy. Wow. So if you are on the phone lines, bear with us. We will get to your call. But if you've got access to the internet, it's the quickest way to do it because you can check, you can put your things into your basket and then you can check on out. Um, so it is easy, but if you are um, on the phone lines, we will get to you and the call centre are working extremely hard to get through your calls. Okay. So with this one, we're just going to mask out the grass and then we can work on the top panel. Now we've got quite a lot of um, sort of warm colour on this, so we're going to add quite a bit of colour to it. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do the fence in a real... So the fence that we've just used in that winter scene, we're going to reuse in this one, but we're going to put the little bird's nest and things in this as well. It's just to show you how easy these are to use. You could use this uh, as a Valentine's Day card. You definitely actually. could, a wedding somebody card. Loves, yeah, somebody that loves animals, a wedding card. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's another sample just there using the heart shape. Oh, with the hairs in, which is quite apt because it's March. I March know, hairs. I know. And there's no boxing going on, there's no fighting going on. No, there, we, want, we don't other. want any fighting. It's We're all not fighting love. today. I've all never seen love. a boxing hair, but I'd love to see I one. I know, they're fascinating, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They really are. Now, I thought we'd just have a bit of love rather than uh, fighting. We don't want any of that, do we? OK, so a little bit of red. So this is a very, very easy way to create a little background. And like I said, because we've actually uh, brought that card level with the stencil, yeah. because of the way I, I, I do my colouring on the background, so a lot of the time you would be um, using a brush or something like that, which you can still do, yeah. that's absolutely fine. But because of the way I do it, I would probably be more inclined to get them, get the ink underneath the stencil. Yeah. So with this, we don't, it just doesn't happen with this. Famous last words, those, aren't they? <laughs> uh, now, the shows are available for 60 days on our website, on Rewind, so you can watch all of these demonstrations again when you get your stamp sets home. Uh, which is lovely because then you can relax in your own home and, and have a little craft along with Wendy. Oh, that'd be great. Um, now, Wendy, you're back today at 12. We are, yeah. Uh, so we're back. We've got another show at 12 o'clock. What stock we'll have, I don't know. Um, but we will be back at 12 o'clock. Great. OK, so two colours with this as well. So the last time we did it, it was just black. And now okay. we're going to sort of make this a bit more summery. So two colours, palest one first. Yeah. And then with the dark brown, we're just going to sort of go around the edges here like that. And just pick up 
any sort of shadow that you might want. So basically, what you're doing is adding your highlight first, yeah. and then you're adding your shadow straight after. I wonder if you had some air drying clay, and I wonder if you had it, if you rolled it thin enough, you could actually put the stamp on the air drying clay and push it in and get the shapes. Yeah, it's worth a try that, that isn't it? Would be, that would be fantastic to make some plaques for your wall. There'd be so many things really, mm. because you tend to get stuck in, in the things that you do and the things that you like, don't you? But for other people who are doing different crafts, there's so many uh, different possibilities that they could use with these. Yeah. So always make sure uh, when you're using two colours, you give this time to sort of settle on there because you want all the ink to merge and that will give you that nice sort of two-tone colour so again it just makes it look more dimensional so we're going to pop the little bird's nest in so let's use again no we'll just use the dark on this one so all over the top here so this was made when we designed this stamp it was all individual twigs yeah. and then we built the bird's nest from it so it looked realistic Aww. So we can pop that there. And again, if you wanted to, you could, there's nothing stopping you putting a couple of little eggs in there if that's what you want to do. Oh. But we're just going to use the little bird. So a, again, it's look at the detail in that nest. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And all the birds are out at the moment building the nest. This is I the time. Know. I love this time of year, though. Yeah, we've got a blackbird. Have you? Um, in the back garden at the moment, who is building his nest or her nest. Uh, getting ready, which is lovely. Wow. I can't seem to find the other bird that's going the other way, so I'm just going to use the same one. We'll pop this one down here, like that. So Aww. we've got the two. Now, you could two-tone the, the birds as well, yes. so if you wanted a little blue tick, you could add a yep. little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow on there yes, as well. Yes, yes. So I'm going to pop a few uh, mushrooms in. I think they're, they're great tits because they've got the black on black cap at the top. Oh, there he is. After all lovely. that, I found him But there. yeah, you could, there could be, there could be sparrows, actually. I think a lot, yeah, it's colour is a lot to yeah. do with it, isn't it? It's whatever colour you sort of do it will sort of give you, let's pop another one just there. He might actually go off the page, but we don't mind. So we've got the two of them together. Oh, no. And then we're going to pop in some little mushrooms. Now, again, you can do two-tone with these if you want to. So always add your paler colour first. And then we're going to add the brown over the top, the darker brown. So just pop a little bit, especially sort of near the base as well, yeah. you know, where they're going to be. So we can just add these along there and always stamp them two or three times because you'll get some of that colour as well working off into the background. Oh, that's a good idea. Gives you a bit of depth It then. does, it does. So just all the way around, just catch them. And again, don't be sort of worried that these are not perfect. It doesn't matter because you're just picking up on those lovely yeah. sort of dimensional colours. Okay, then we're going to add in some of the little grasses from previously. So I'm just going to use uh, one from the Wildflower Woods. I do like the way you've got all those different toadstools, the different grasses, the different flowers, and you've got that variety, which is what a woodland is. It is, and I wanted it to kind of look as natural as possible, yeah. so you can really go for it with the little uh, woodland flowers and things like that. So what we could do into this, if you wanted to make this into a little Easter card, is pop in um, some of the little Easter eggs yeah. just in the bottom. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Or you can go all out and just do a whole card with the Easter eggs. It's entirely up to you. But can you see, you just keep stamping and let the ink sort of run out on the on the card. Okay. I do like the idea of using these with uh, fabric inks. I think they'd be amazing with fabric. Oh, they really would. Even just like a little border at the bottom of the skirt or a border around them. Um, T-shirts. Oh, and, yes. and you could use the masks as well. Yes, of course. Put the mask on and stamp over the top oh. and you'd have like um, a oh, one-off T-shirt, wouldn't you? Yeah. How cool is that? You wouldn't have to turn up to a wedding in the same clothes as somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Nip into the toilets and put a little design on in between. If you've Oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> So these are beautiful as well, these little hanging vines are just mm. lovely because again, it just gives you that look of the woodland, it makes it look yeah. like you're looking through a clearing, so it it's very, does. very, very pretty. I'm not actually doing bad Up on time here, considering, yeah, you're doing really well. considering we've done um, quite a lot with the stencils as well. So let's add um, another little mushroom, let's see if we can get this this one in here and we'll, we'll sit the little bird on this. Yeah. So let's use a little bit of the red maybe, let's try this. I probably wouldn't normally put the red in with this because of the, the colours that we've used, but on saying that, let's just give it a slightly different colour colourway. We can sit the little one of the little birds on here as well. 
But there are so many animals you could use. Oh, wow, look at that. And you'll get a different look every time, but you know it doesn't really matter. So let's use the little bird. And so we'll you just the used a bit bird. of red on that yeah. stamp. You see... Put the palest one first and stamping then... Stamping with colours rather than stamping and then colouring it afterwards. That is... Well, you're getting all your shades, and the yeah. thing is, you, you're not having to work at it either. Yeah. Which is lovely, because, I mean, not, although good. I love to shade, it's nice if you're sort of not really having to think about yeah. it. The, the sort of ink is doing it for you on these. Oh, I bet you're sitting at home thinking about all the different scenes that you're going to build and create and all the inspiration that you're going to have. And if you put your stamps out, like Wendy has, on the table just here, pick them up. you can just pick them up, you can reach out, you can get your grass, and then if you think, oh no, do you know what, I want the tree yeah, trunk there, or I'll have the tree yeah. trunk and the fence there. Um, you've got all of that possibility. And a really nice tip with this as well is what I was finding when I was stamping. If you want some more taller grass up here, but you don't want to see the end of the grass, yes. I take it up and I have it as if it's coming from the brown, but you won't see where it's stamped on the brown. Ah. It just looks like it's coming from behind. Yes. Because we're using the brown as sort of um, a stamping base. So you can Got take me. the grass right up Love into that. the background as well. Okay, let's just move all these out of the way. Now my fingers are a bit inky, but we're going to do this anyway. So again, we're going to add our little bit of grass at the bottom here. So just take a little bit of ink. So I'm just going to use the green. And we're going to add a little bit more grass just down the bottom here. So we're adding some shadow for the grass. Now, just a gentle reminder, we've got about five minutes left on the show. Um, we will be back at 12 o'clock today, but remember, people do buy in between the shows. Sometimes they make their decision at the end of the show if we've still got stock, and that's when they start to pop things into the basket. So just giving you a little heads up there, because we have been extremely busy in this hour. OK, and then what we're going to do is just pop off this centre one again, like that. So that gives love us our that. lovely embossed heart in the middle Look there, like that. that. Now, we could, if you want to, just put the uh, the piece back in, but because we're only going to do the edges, I'm not going to bother. So if I just take my wax paper and we will just... And you can actually feel where it is. So as soon as you start to press, you can see straight away yeah. where the actual stencil is. It's very, very easy to do. Oh, yeah. So you can see that straight away. So you don't need even need a light box with these ones. And then you're just basically going to just follow that. Wow. That shape. That's going to give us our beautiful embossed heart, or our double embossing, really, is what yes. it is, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got embossing on embossing. So a smaller one, just to crisp that up. And then a tiny, tiny little bit of colour that we'll just add around the outside. So you could go for a completely different colour if you want to. Yeah. On that one, we've used the yellow. On this one, I think we might just go for a little bit of green. And we'll just add this just around the edges. And again, that cardstock is now locked in place in that stencil as well. So it's much less likely to move and you're much less likely to get anything going underneath right. your stencil as well. Do you do workshops, Wendy? I do. I'm actually trying to start um, a mailing list for workshops because we, yeah. we advertise workshops and we're just taking phone numbers and in the end we have <laughs> hundreds of people we're trying to ring up. So we've, we're trying to just get a mailing list just for workshops only. So if anybody's interested, you can just oh, email fantastic. me. Fantastic. Are you going to go to the NEC show this we year? We are, yeah. So I can't, can't wait. I love really? the NEC. Oh, good. Such I'm there a good on show. Sunday. We have two demonstrators. I have me and then we have another one. So you oh, get I'll double, double trouble. Hey. So you'll see all these close up as well. Okay, so now we can take all of this off. And then this top layer, we can just pop off here and that gives us our double embossed heart. Oh, look at that. And of course, all your repositionable will just sort of brush off, but there you go. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Being able to build that scene and then have that lovely crisp outline of that love heart using the stencils, the masks, absolutely fascinating, love it, beautiful. Uh, and again, each and every time, they're going to be different uh, because you're going to get the chance to put those scenes together. I mean, here's the one with the owl that you can see just there. I love that evening winter style scene. But it doesn't have to be winter, it could be the summer, it could be the autumn, it could be the spring, it could be any time of year, any time of day as well, any occasion. Um, that you've got the chance now to build and create with the rabbit there. You can see all the hair with the eggs. That could be Easter or it could be a happy birthday. 
What I love about that as well is we've stamped the words around the outside, yeah. so we've used the words that we've got and then just created a nice word background as well. Oh, the sentiments, really lovely, yeah. yeah. So just mask the heart out again with the centerpiece and stamp it over the whole edge. What a great idea. If you manage to get hold of those sentiments, congratulations, because you can use them in that way. I say congratulations because we have sold out twice. Um, of the sentiment so also thank you uh, the stamp collection my goodness busy show we've had um, we sold out in 20 minutes and we brought it back on extended delivery 16th of March now dispatching it's not long to wait 860 266 42 pounds and 94 pence don't miss out the idea is now perhaps to get it into your basket and check out rather than missing out so you get them and then you can relax and watch the demonstrations coming up at 12 o'clock you must be very proud of this collection I do I absolutely love it but you never know you're only as good as your last show aren't you really oh <laughs> yes but just... you're fantastic every time <laughs> I mean the last show we did with the washing line and the little clothes we were saying you could use those stamps and have a whole woodland scene you know it could be somebody living in a cottage in the middle of the countryside know, that be lovely? it could be all, all the animals have come to take <laughs> yeah. all the baby clothes away <laughs> yeah. you know you can have a bit of fun with that can't you uh, and you can I believe use your existing stamps that you've got you might have some mythical stamps of mm -hmm. unicorns would go imagine? lovely, yeah. You can mix everything in, can't you? Imagine a woodland scene and then having the unicorn mm, in the middle. Be beautiful. Absolutely that would be absolutely incredible. So think about the stamps that you've got, but take a look at the woodland scene that you've got here. All of these animals, so gentle, so beautiful. Well, I wouldn't normally think of deer in because you always think deer for winter, and then yeah. you think, well, oh, actually, no, because they're there all year round, yes. and they make such a beautiful card. Yeah, they certainly do. And you've got all the different elements in there, including your flowers, your toadstools, your mushrooms. You've got your eggs in there. You've got the foliage. You've got your insects as well. And you can see from the samples that we've got here, you can make the cards look completely different, as if you've got a whole plethora of different stamp sets. But you've not. You've got this one with 102 stamps in it but you do need to check out your baskets to ensure yourself of making sure that you've got this particular set 860-266 is your item number so what demonstrations we got coming up at 12 and um, well we're using the stencils again yes. and we're just slightly changing up some of the things done put some different elements in as well so yeah uh, look forward to that so we're coming up again at 12 o'clock do stay with us because we've got more shows coming up here on Hochanda if you have anything in your basket now's the time to check on out rather than miss out make sure you get it thank you Wendy thank you very we'll much we'll see Alice. you at 12 o'clock